Hey guys, so today we're gonna try some remote uh, kind of hacking. So I'm just a normal guy, I searched online, I was interested in phones, how you can remote control them. And if you can do this yourself by reading a guide online, and I find a pretty interesting guide, so I just wanna show you some of the things here, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I'm not gonna show you the full way, but I just wanna, if people wanna sh see the full way, then I might do a video on that, but um, I'm just gonna try to show the interesting things. So, we have an Android phone, uh, it's actually gonna be this phone. So, basically what I've done here in preparations, which you need to do to get this to work, this is just for demonstration here, I just find it very interesting how it can work is, first I created a small little file, uh, an Android install file, on, and I install it on my phone, and it was just a few lines of code. It took like two or like one minute to create the file, and then you just install it on your phone, uh, so in, as an APK file, and um, then it can do crazy stuff in the background without you knowing. So, uh, how we're gonna do this here is I'm, I'm gonna show you the second step in this uh, remote uh, control thing, uh, how it works by writing a few lines of codes on the computer to gain access to the phone after you've installed it, the small little app. So, uh, yeah, I do have uh, a Linux uh, machine up here running remote from my computer uh, and installed in VirtualBox, a uh, Kali Linux is this version called uh, the distro. So we don't even need to install it. Uh, you can just run it instantly here without having to install the full thing on your computer. So I'm just gonna launch it up and hopefully this will work uh, here in this demonstration. Because it's really crazy what phones and stuff computers can do, ones and zeros. There really is a lot of things you can learn from it, and uh, there's a lot of people that we, geeks are. You know, we need a lot of those people, so it's good that uh, if you learn some stuff, uh, these are really powerful machines, actually. So the way we're gonna do this is, I am instantly going to launch uh, the terminal here, and I'm gonna. This is a very interesting distro. It's like you can do a lot of fun computer geeky stuff here and this distro Kali. So, and I'm not sure if I say that correct, but uh, first we're gonna launch a thing called M, uh, MHF console. And it's gonna launch a thing here. So it's gonna launch this uh, Metasploit framework console. Okay, so uh, this seems to be a pretty powerful tool. Um, so let's just try it out. Uh, so I'm going to continue to write some code here, some basic stuff as a normal guy. Uh, use, we're going to write use exploit multi handler and uh, sweep. And then we're going to write set payload. Set payload, and it's going to be Android meter pointer reverse TCP. This is going to work only if you're on the same kind of local Wi-Fi network because it's going to listen for like stuff in the cloud or whatever. It's like interesting how it works. So we're going to write that, and it should pop up like so. And then we're going to set LFOs. To a local uh, local address here that I have on my my local address that it's gonna listen on kind of okay and then we're gonna set an L port to 8080 and then we're gonna type exploits hit enter whoa that's interesting so uh, it started the thing and uh, basically what I did on my, com uh, on my phone uh, to get this uh, to run is you need to tap on the app also that you did create or that I did create. I didn't show you that in this, uh, in this little video. Uh, but it's a small little app here and I just tapped on it. And it basically launched the code, very, very simple code in the background. And basically what you now have, you have access to the phone. So... Just to show it how powerful it is, uh, you did see this uh, session one open. So basically, it kind of found the phone, 
uh, after I, I clicked on the little app thing. So what I can now do is, for example, if I type help, I can see a ton of things, how I can like see stuff all about this phone without opening up, but from this little computer thing. So for example, you can see I can check if a phone has roots, if it's rooted. So if I type that, it says device is rooted. So, you know, it's crazy powerful. So crazy stuff you can do here is you can, uh, I can list the cameras that the phone has. So if I type webcam list, it says I have a back and front camera. So look at this crazy stuff I'm gonna do now. So the phone, I have it over here. Let's try an interesting thing. Can we take a photo with this one without using the phone, but wirelessly from this, um, this terminal here? So I am going to write webcam uh, snap and then I'm gonna do I, oops, and then I'm gonna do this and, and then I'm gonna write back camera. This is like, I stands for like, which camera you want to take a snap from. So let's try this. So I have the phone up, have it, let's have it up like this. And I'm going to hit enter now and we're going to see what happens. Hmm. Okay, got frame. <laughs> it did take a picture. I didn't even use the phone. The phone was just lying there. And what happens? Used a tiny bit of app that I created myself. And I can, it's like, it's crazy. It did take a snapshot. It's like, whoa, this is crazy. This is insanity. So, uh, I mean, this is like demonstration of how crazy this is. Let's try that again. So, I'm just gonna hold it up like so. And uh, yeah, let's try it again. And it says starting. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's thinking, it's thinking, it is thinking. Oh no, operation fail. It didn't work that time. Uh, let's try to see if we can do a snap from the front facing camera. So I'm just gonna hold it up like so. It's starting and it's thinking. Hmm. It's thinking. Error. Yeah, timed out. This is the thing with hacking. Sometimes not everything works perfectly. Uh, it can also be that I uh, had it uh, locked. So let's just try it when it's opened up. Oh, it did it. It did it. So when I had the phone locked up, it, I had greater success uh, with taking a snapshot. So you can basically see that's my, that's my camera. This is the camera I'm doing this video with. So it's so crazy. And that's just one of the things uh, that I tried here. So I'm gonna do it again for fun. Let's try it again with the front facing here and have it up like this. It did take way faster when the phone was unlocked. As you can see, perfect picture, or not perfect, but you can definitely see how crazy this is. And so what more things can you do? Well, if I type help here, you can see that the command is like, you can even record the mic on the phone. Uh, that's so crazy, record audio from the default microphone for X number of seconds. 
I haven't got it to work that great because my my mic on my phone is kind of bad. Uh, but you can, it's like crazy, man. You can change directory, you can remove directory, you can make directories, you can search for files on the on the phone. So it's a really crazy stuff you can do, uh, and it's good to know these things. So even like dumping SMS and tech contacts from your phone and how you can wirelessly send it to your uh, computer wirelessly over the air. I mean, it's really, really crazy stuff. Uh, and also this thing, let's try this one as the final thing. Webcam stream. So play a video stream from the specified webcam. So let's try, let's try to do that. So I'm just going to type in webcam stream and uh, let's let's do it on the back camera. So let's try it out. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Let's see. So I am just going to put this one in full screen. And it's not perfect, but whatever. Okay, let's see. As you can see, it works. And the crazy thing about this is the phone or the app, the, um, I don't, I don't even have, uh, I don't even, the thing is not even running here, like the, the, it, it says there's no app running, but clearly as you can see, it is running, so, I mean, it's just crazy, it's crazy, these phones, and uh, the stuff you can do, it's like insanity. Um, so yeah, just a quick little video, uh, testing it out a little bit. Hopefully you did enjoy. Uh, I definitely did enjoy to test it out when I was a little bit bored online. So remember it, I mean, these phones are super powerful and uh, yeah, I mean, you can really do crazy stuff with a bunch of code and stuff. So. I find it really fun and interesting, so quick little video, checking that out, hope you enjoyed, and um, yeah, have an awesome night, peace.